Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video, and as you guys can see, we are in a new location, and that is because I moved out. I am in a new place now, but we're doing the exact same stuff. So today we're going to be reacting to Inside Miriam Margulies' Tote Bag. Miriam Margulies is one of my favorite British actors slash comedian. Well, she's a comedian naturally, but just so funny from her moments on Graham Norton that we've reacted to, so I'm excited to get into this. We all know it's gonna be hilarious. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe, and consider joining the Patreon. First link in the description for full reactions to British shows and movies. Just recently watched season three, episode three of Happy Valley, and it was gripping to say the least, so you don't wanna miss a lot of the content over there. And I'd really appreciate the support. With that being said, let's get right into this. You need to fart now. <laughs> there we go. Hello, British Vogue. <laughs> I'm Miriam Margulies, and I'm going to show you what's in my bag. So we'll start off with my lovely scarf. I love a green scarf, and I always carry it with me. This book is a memoir. It's got naughty tales of the people I've slept with and the people I haven't slept with. I've got lots of photographs. This is my wedding day. And this is my partner. I didn't want to be married, you know, religiously. <laughs> I wanted a civil partnership, and that's what I've got. I made a mistake on the day. I got it all ready, and I had a table booked at uh, Café Zedel. And when I got there, the registrar, a very nice lady, she said, well, we'll see you next week then. And I said, next week? What do you mean? This is it, isn't it? And she said, no, I'm sorry, we... We always have an interview first to make sure that you're not being forced or coerced into marriage. We still went for the meal, don't worry. But um, I did feel a bit of a twat, I must say. Oh, yes, well, this... <laughs> you see, I always carry an old bag like this, because I am an old bag. I, I like to have room for what I pick up on the way. Like life, really. I bought this in New York. I think it was $5. It's got a little secret department there where you can put, you know, condoms or whatever you want. Oh, yes, I've got um, a napkin. And I think I stole it from an airline. And I had it dyed <laughs> because I like navy blue. I'm always eating. And when I eat, I drop crumbs. And because I have large breasts, I call the continental shelf, it falls on the napkin instead and keeps the breasts and the clothes clean. Oh, these are my... I, I feel She just has no filter whatsoever, you know? That, I don't know how some people are like that, but it's just... It's, it's very unique and special, because not many people can just say what's on their mind like that and not give an absolute... <laughs> yeah. Sun reading glasses. They suit me, don't they? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, these are my knickers. <laughs> uh, clean, of course. Spare pair. I'm not very good at holding on to my water. So when I want to pee, oh I have God. to get to a loo quickly. <laughs> the gusset, most important. Look how clean it is. I like a strong gusset. Heather, my darling partner, she dyes them navy blue, just like the napkin. If you want to know the size, 52 to 54 <laughs> centimeters, and it covers everything. Oh my now, God. Now. This is the meat of the matter. And inside, there's a marvellous array of things. First thing I'm going to take out might surprise you. It's an onion. I'd always carry an onion because I love them. I actually had a bit, <laughs> I see, this morning. This is a white onion. I prefer white onions to red onions because they have more bite. Nah, what? Is this, is this Shrek? She's just eating straight onions. Listen, I love onions too. I love onions on sandwiches, burgers, everything. But straight out the bag, taking bites? Mix it up, Miriam. You're crazy. Red onions, because <laughs> they have more bite. Mmm. I don't think people mind if you smell of onion. It's not bad breath. It's it just is onion. bad breath. No, it's bad breath. Sometimes people say, Christ, you smell of onion. And I say, yeah. There's one other little round red thing. No, not that, darling. Radish is oh almost, well, I won't say a sexual delight, but it's close. 
because it's a big bang in your mouth, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now then, I'm holding my lipsticks. I don't use lipstick except if I'm going out or if I'm acting or on camera. But what I always need is tweezers. Now, this is something that every woman should carry who's over 35. Whether they admit to it or not, they have whiskers. I was told that mm. Vogue would be interested in my beauty uh, habits. I don't have any beauty habits. I have tweezers. What other goodies I've got to show you? Oh, yes. Sad to say, this old fart here is a disabled lady. I've got something called spinal stenosis. And this is what people want to steal. They don't want to steal the car. They want to steal the disabled sticker. What I would say to the world, do not park in disabled spaces. Mm, if you facts. have no right to it, don't bloody do it. Oh yes, every girl needs that, a pot of Nivea, to moisten areas which get dry. And I leave it to you to work out which they are. This is my purse. And this is where <laughs> I keep my money. And unlike the Queen, I do... I want to know, um, who is Miriam's family? And I know if they go out in public with her, they get... Well, they're probably used to it by now. But most people, if they had Miriam as a mom or an auntie, whatever the case would be, and they go out with her, I know they would be so embarrassed. I would... I don't know how I would <laughs> deal with that. <laughs> Every time you go out to dinner, whatever the case is, it's just a comedy club automatically with her in the room. Where I keep my money. And unlike the queen, I do carry money. Dear queen, bless her. I was really sad when she died. I did meet Her Majesty. It was British Book Week, and I was invited, along with all the people in the book industry, to a party at Buckingham Palace. She stopped in front of me and she said, and what do you do? And like an idiot, instead of just replying in a normal manner, uh, I'm an actress, your majesty, which would have been the sensible thing to do. For some reason, I said to her, your majesty, I am the best reader of stories in the whole world. She looked at me and moved quickly to the next person. <laughs> this is um, Taboo, an Italian licorice breath sweetener. And this is uh, Jo Malone, which is my perfume of choice. Lime, mandarin and basil. Fresh. I like to smell fresh. I don't always. That's my bank card keys and driving license. My little... Air buds. I think that's what they call <laughs> earbuds. I like proper piano music and Brahms, Beethoven, Schubert, Mozart. Can't stand ABBA. Sunglasses, mirror, main glasses. Oh, now this, this is a wonderful key. This is a disabled lavatory key, and you don't have to ring and wait for bloody hours while you're pissing yourself. Saved my knickers time after time. Oh Thank you God. so much for watching. <laughs> I'm Miriam Margulies, and now you know what was in my bag. It's a... it's... excuse me, who was that? <laughs> Somebody farted. And it wasn't me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that was uh, inside Miriam Margulies' tote bag. I love watching these. See, sometimes when you watch... I think GQ does them as well with a lot of American celebrities and rappers. And a lot of it is just like Louis Vuitton shades, Gucci wallet, uh, Prada, this, that, blah, blah. blah. See, I don't even know because it's so stupid. But for for her, it seems like the designer's not as big of a deal unless that's a Gucci, Gucci watch. Um, so Miriam seems very true to herself, especially with the way she talks. <laughs> but yeah, really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next video.